So I wanted to go over a little bit of PicMonkey and show you the two things I like to do with PicMonkey. So I like to either edit an, edit a picture or I like to uh, make a collage. Those are the two things I normally do. So when I edit a picture, I'm just going to grab a picture. Um, let's grab this one. We open it up and this is uh, just a layer cake that we make. The, the two things that I want to do is I, I can rotate or two things I can do is I can rotate it or I can resize it I can and I can crop it. I want to make sure all of my pictures have the same proportion. This is a square. So I can say I want to make it a square. Okay. Or I can make it a three by five image. Okay. So I can, if I, if I hold it, if I hold the corner, the three by five image will um, stay proportional. Okay. So, and I can also rotate it around and say, this is my three by five image and it looks very nice and I can apply it. And now I can resize it to, I, I typically like to be right anywhere around 700 to 800 here and whatever this one happens to be on the long side, 700, 800 is great. Um, and then I can apply that and I can click save and then I get three choices of quality. What I'm looking for here is something about under hundred K. So 84K is a great size picture. Um, you have three different types of quality. You have Roger, Pierce, and Sean. I'm pretty sure those are 007 uh, references, like Sean Connery, Pierce, uh, Bronson, I think, Morgan, and then the old 007, uh, based off of size, Sean Connery being the biggest. Um, I think it's a, that's, and then you can give it a file name. You can click Save to My Computer, and it will save it. The other thing I like to do so I also like to build a collage and in the collage you can give it a size so say you're looking for a very specific 1000 by 1000 uh, if 1000 by 1000 or if I can um, I click on the unlock button and I can say 1000 by 500 and it gives me this collage I can drag pictures over and I now have a collage or I can remove one picture and in this remove this one and now I have even a different collage. I can remove this one and I can drag this. Well, let's do that. Let's actually get rid of this whole section. And now I have, it's still a collage. It gives me a nice white border around the picture and it says it's 1000 by 500. So using the collage setting, I can control how big I want the picture, how zoomed in it is, as, as I can zoom in or zoom out to see the whole thing. And let's say I don't want this picture. I can pick another picture and I can actually drag the picture around how I like it. <clears throat> And say I want it to be more up along the top or down on the bottom. I can do that. Again, I can export it to the editor. Okay. Once I'm in the editor, I can't change that collage. It becomes a, a very static picture. And in this, this is the top one here. I can crop it, resize it, and work on the exposure. I can, I can change the, the colors of it, um, sharpen it. And so forth. It's a lot of really cool things you can do. Um, I can give it kind of an older look. Anyway, some really cool things you can do to play with your photos. And again, this is all free. The ones that have, um, if you, let's see, there are some that cost money. Like if it has this little crown, it's a premium feature. So you won't be able to use that one. Again, the crown, the crown, crown, but this one's not the crown, but all these, other, you know, some of them are, if they have the crown, you can't use them. Anyway, that's PicMonkey. Awesome little program. Save. You can uh, click save, save it to your computer. You can edit the size, do all that great stuff.